on the on the ice finally here. Drilled my hole, got my spot that I wanted. It's about seven feet here again, or not again, but seven feet. I got fresh uh, mealworms here. So this might do the trick today. I was trying to get dewworms, but I just couldn't find them anywhere. So but they're fresh, so they're alive, wiggling around. That wants to get eaten, so. I feel like it's gonna be a real nice day here today. It also snowed like a foot yesterday, so. Pretty foggy, but usually this foggy and uh, when the flurries are coming down, the fishing's usually better. And not always, but odds are looking pretty good today. So let's get our lines wet. <coughs> Got a fish here, guys. Come on. That's a good start. That's a good start. There it is. Yes. What a good start. What a good start. Little guy, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Way better than yesterday again. Crazy. Teeny tiny guy, let him go. Nice and quick. <coughs> oh, we got a finder. We got one here, on me. He's on it. Steady. I think he'll come back. Oh, still down there. Wow, he's really hanging around today. Oh, well, I missed my chance. I had about three chances. Never mind, he's back again, guys. Oh, that was a big tug. There it is. There it is. That's a better one. Better one. That's a better one, guys. That's a better one. Ooh. That's a better one. Finally, it's on uh, Tungsten Jig with um, tip of mower. Flash her above. Oh. Oh my god. It took my jig again. My knot never happened to me before. But my knot just came off. Man. I'm so frustrated right now. That's a big fish. <sighs> Just took it. My knot came off. Unreal. Wow. Okay, retied it. Make sure my knot was good. That's the worst possible way to lose a fish. Because your knot sucks. So make sure you guys tie a good knot. <laughs> Camera off, of course. I got one. I am not losing this guy. This guy's a decent one. This guy's a decent one, guys. If this pops off, I'm going home. <clears throat> Phil's, Phil's heavier than uh, the usual ones. Good size, good size. <clears throat> That's a keeper. It's a Pinasque Rainbow. They fight pretty good for their size too. This is about, I don't know, like maybe 14 inches. Oh. But I'm gonna bonk this guy and uh, put him out of the misery. It's a keeper. I'm using this, this pattern. I don't know what the pattern, uh, cotton candy pattern, I don't know. I'm just tipping it with uh, one millworm. I seem to like that a lot actually. So just like that. And I have a dodger or a flasher. This makes this made a lot of difference uh, yesterday and today by adding it. So it's around that much. Maybe they like it. Uh, they like more shine to it today. I don't know, but it seems to be working. So I'm gonna continue.
couple more bites, but that's a really good start. I'm kind of relieved now that they're biting. So I think the key was to use fresh bait and put a dodger on top. Even though I'm fishing only seven feet, it seems like that's uh, what they're attracted to right now. They come, check the dodger out, and then drop down to my bait. So that's a pretty good, that's really good information to know. Or me personally, I've learned something, so. Look at those gorgeous rainbows. Love the spinach rainbows. Nice one. Wow, eh? My markers. Oh. There it is. <laughs> I ripped his lips off there. Keep the tension. Always keep the tension. Oh, I loved it. This fish was very hesitant to bite. Oh. <laughs> keep the tension. Did not work. Oh. That was a good fish. That was a good fish, though. This is fun now. This is fun. At least they're biting, but I'm losing fish left and right this weekend. This is, ah, this is crazy. Okay, it's kind of snowing and rainy, so can't get my camera wet, unfortunately. So I'm gonna head inside, try to get some underwater can uh, underwater footage for you guys here. I'm marking tons of fish down there, so today might be a good day to actually do it. All right, see you under the water. fish at one point and it was just kind of being really cautious and two more showed up and they're having like a competition to get the bait whoever get, wants to get the bait first and this brookie come out of nowhere and just smacked that middle one right away so I guess more fish the better for them I guess rather than just one. Oh, we got a marker here we got a marker It's a bigger one. There it is. Oh! I lost a big one. That's unfortunate. I don't know. Oh! The hook's bent out. Well, that's an issue. We're gonna switch it up again. Well, that sucks. Okay, there it is. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, okay, okay. That's a rainbow, that's a rainbow. I'm gonna be patient. I'm going to be patient with it. I am going to be patient with it. Nice, beautiful rainbow. Okay, see you later. It's a good size. Oh no. Backwards. <laughs> Zero hero Nero action anymore. It's around 12 p.m. and I'm already all packed up, uh, ready to go home. 
not much action going on so and I have a drive home about three hours or two and a half hours overall it's been a pretty good weekend it's always it's, it was always nice to head out beautiful lake again my first time on this lake so I learned a couple things here so next time if I come here I'll have better luck maybe uh I'll set up for uh, sight fishing here my knot was the biggest problem but and fresh bait definitely made some difference and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for joining my adventure and as always, until next time.